My work is about process in the sense that I consider the how or the way that something is made. I think that it can be read in the object. It can provide meaning and context. I begin each painting with large sections of raw canvas and paint on them directly with layers of acrylic, latex, and varnish. I began cutting sections of the painted canvas and draping and folding the large sections on the frame. The paint and the canvas and the frame are simultaneously manipulated or exposed to produce the overall composition. I discovered that making a cut was almost like drawing a line and it could both strengthen the composition, but structurally make the painting more fragile. The first painting I made, and the one that changed most over time, was Vertigo House. While I was making Vertigo House, I continued to look for ways to destabilize the edges and the frame and make it feel kind of like a psychedelic house of cards, but somehow structurally sound. For the work in this exhibition, I did not start with any preconceived idea of what they were going to be. There were no drawings that would determine a way that they would be carried out. There were no real plans for this work. And that's where the title comes from. I literally got out of my head. Tongue Plinth was the last piece that I started, and as the title suggests, it is related to the body and thinking of the flesh hanging on to our skeleton, just as the softness and pliability of the canvas is related to the rigidity of the frame. I began to wonder about the overall structure of a painting as a system and to think about the ways that the material and the typical process of making a painting could shift the overall rectilinear shape. The canvas has taken more of a leading role in this shape shifting. By focusing on the canvas, I can reorder the hierarchies of process and material preference within painting and move the paintings into a more sculptural or three-dimensional form. I think it becomes more dynamic and in a sense more democratic so that the energy of the picture is both internal as color and forms interact but also external through the use of gravity. So the paintings are really hybrids of painting and sculpture. And the titles also point to this hybridity. I think if the paintings were to stay in the studio, I could imagine them ever evolving, continually changing. The event of the exhibition itself, the hanging and then documentation of the work determined the final move, what they are now.